<laughs> so this is what it looks like right here, looking into the sun. <laughs> I'm, uh, well, my grapple's blocking it now, so it's not as bad. <laughs> Look at that. And sometimes it'll get to the point where I can't even see Kevin. Let's see that right there? I'll just tell him, you know, he'll have now, to... What about the road, Kevin? We'll have to tell each other sometimes. We'll say, uh, just watch out for me or whatever, because I, I just, I can't, I get to the point where I can't even see him sometimes, but my glass there, I've got my paper towels and some cleaner and I'm about to do my normal cleaning on my glass here right quick and see if I can get it get it slicked up a little bit where it's not the glare is not so bad right there I don't know if y'all can see the difference on camera or not but the center section is clean this one is not and I hadn't done the outside yet either that's just the inside it's a big difference man you get that the summertime or the wintertime sun, the angle of it is really, really tough here in the south. It just, I hate the wintertime sun. It's it, it just, the glare is bad, bad, bad. So that's all three sections on the uh, inside here. Now I'm going to get out on the outside and get it. It's a lot more difficult to try to do the outside. A lot of times I'll pull a skitter up right up against it where I can stand on the hood of the skitter because there's there's nothing to stand on to get that front glass. So it's just what I do is I just spray it, reach out there, do the best I can and that's all I can do right now. It ain't perfect. But it's a lot better than it was. Let me turn away from the sun here a little bit where the glare is not on it. Much better. Also clean my safety glasses while I was at it too. Alright, I'm gonna try to finish loading uh, Frank here. We're trying to get this this spot wrapped up to where we can move way back there on top of the hill. I like just a little bit on two loads here and then we're gonna move. y'all see how quick that happened right there? I hope you didn't blink on that. It was fast. <laughs> Finishing Danny right here. He likes 2,000 pounds being loaded. And uh, I'm gonna let him go. Those are small telephone poles going to Cahab, Alabama. They gotta be a 10 to a 13 inch butt to make it. And then I got that truck right there. I'm gonna load with that load right there that you can't see. And then we're moving up on top of the hill up there. That's where the next several videos y'all will see will be broadcast from. Here comes Chad with what I need. He's got me too right there. Perfect. Kevin. That one, I was looking at you. Look at that. That one was good. Just run it, man. We're going to load it. We're going to let them go. We're going to load this. And uh, let Danny boy go. There goes Kevin. He's going to the next spot, man, to go up there, smoke some more trees way up yonder. <laughs> I'm gonna load this right here. This is gonna go down to Westerville, which used to be a Gulf States mill down at uh, Moundville, Alabama, which is south of Tuscaloosa, just a few miles. The home of the uh, Crimson Tide. Chad's bringing me that last pull that I need to finish this truck up here. That should get him. That's a pretty good pull for the old 630 right there. Kevin's up there on the hill, up there walking the dog, kicking the cat. Come on back, as old Big Scott says. I've got one more load right here I'm going to load before I go up there. I got a load of uh, pine pulp wood tops that'll go to the paper mill to be chipped. And then I'll migrate up there where he's at and start loading up there. It's actually a uh, beautiful view up here where we're at. I'm going to spin, try to hold the camera steady, 
and not let this door swing at me and hit me here as I swing. That is the way I'm looking right there now. That is going to be kind of southeast. That's going to be back toward Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We are in, uh, we're in Pickens County, Alabama. It's where we're currently at right now. Uh, probably we're about 10 miles north of Gordo, Alabama. It's just a beautiful, beautiful view up here. We still, all of our trees, I mean, we're at the end of November. We've got trees that are shucking their leaves pretty good right now, but we still got color all in the trees right now on where we're at here. So it usually takes a lot longer here to, for all the uh, leaves to come off the trees, and then, and then they green up a lot quicker than what they do in the north also. So I get up there uh, where Kevin is, it'll be a, uh, I'll be able to roll or back close to the wood, things like that. That's the bad thing about being in these hills. You have to work with what you got. So sometimes you can't set up where you would really like to set up just because of the way the land lays because you're limited on, on your terrain here. So we're gonna roll on through the day. We're heading toward lunch right now. All right, I just had to abort mission on loading the pine pot wood. I just got a text saying that some of the scales is down at the paper mill out there. So when that happens, they have the, all the trucks are having to weigh in and out on the same set of scales. So what that means is that means that the line is gonna get backed up at our paper mill. So if I were to load this truck right now that's coming in with the pine pot wood, see there he is right there, he would be hung up out there at the uh, paper mill for a good little while. So rather than loading that, I'm gonna back up and we're gonna head on up here where Kevin is and start loading something else to where the truck won't be hung up. I can come back down here a little bit later on this afternoon or tomorrow or anytime and load that pine pot wood and just, just scratch it till when the paper mill gets back to rolling because if he gets hung up out there, which he will, it's a guarantee, uh, we'll lose probably two loads on this truck right here. We don't need that this week. So let's migrate back here right quick and get to get to loading something where I can be productive. I know this is vibrating. Camera's probably shaking, but look at this road right here. Can we push it in and dad run over with the road grader? See, it's already starting to seal. Just a little bit of running on it that we've done. We sent one truck up it a while ago, empty to turn around and then come back. And just after these next two trucks, this thing will be sealed in. We got the turnouts on it where the water can rain. So the water will run out the turnout. So it'll, this one will be really good right here. That's the first load going out right there. There's the next one. I'm fixing the load. No, ready? So that's number two from the new set right here. That's a load of chipping saw. They'll make studs out of it, and then what won't make studs, they will uh, chip the rest of it for chips to go to the paper mill. Hence the name chip and saw. Look at that one tree on the top on the right side, Scott. And make sure it's it's okay up there. If it ain't you can back back up here, I'd track down there and smash it on down if I need to. There is some uh, deep, deep holes up here. Like down in there. <laughs> I mean, old boy come out here the other day, last Wednesday afternoon and visited. And when he come in here, he, he said, uh, he said, I wasn't sure my pickup truck was. Okay. He said, I wasn't sure my pickup truck was going to make it up that uh, hill that we're coming up to get in here right now. It's pretty up here, though. It's pretty. This is more like the norm for us right here, this kind of terrain. We're gonna walk over here and watch Derek for a little bit. Y'all look at what that's overlooking right there. Holy smokes. We're gonna cut all this so as we cut more, you'll be able to see the 
scenery there. These are some, uh, this is some really crazy terrain and we're only about, from my house to over here is only about 20 miles in a straight line. To drive over here is about, uh, I think it's about 38 or so. move on around a little bit I was listening to that thing run y'all probably can't hear it I can hear the engine a little bit right here I see he was toting those trees up just a second ago I'm listening like right now I'm listening for it to load that engine is what I'm listening for All right, now here it comes. He's toting those three trees and the saw's trying to pull back up, which the saw's at full song now. But it's not, it's the motor's not fluctuating at all, just a little bit, not much at all. You see what he did? He lined himself up right here to cut these right here now, and then he'll he'll get these right here and throw them in that pile, and then he'll work his way back down again. needles coming down. I might just see if you'll see that in the film or not. More of them. And see, Derek has completely got the feel of it and everything now. He's he's where he's going to be. I'm not sure how many hours he's got on. He's probably got 300 or better on it now, I'm sure. I'll ask him in a little bit. You hear that fan, it was just reversed just then, and it quit. That freaking thing is fast, man. reversed here listen to it Are you here to stop? Watch the undercarriage when he reaches out, it don't even move. 
See, I'm not just watching the machine run. I'm watching that stuff like that right there. That's what I'm looking for. That undercarriage is 11 inches longer than our other 830. Never move, never look. That was a good tree too. the geometry I'm watching the boom there the main boom I'm like I like the geometry how they've got that done on that one better than the other one Chad's over there and Kevin's right there can y'all imagine watching Derek think about this for a second how many saw men it would take to cut the trees like what he's cutting right there how, how many men it would it would take to accomplish that same deal right there and in this same stuff in this brush this thick brush this underbrush right here too and then the terrain you factor that in also Y'all look at the blow by Cause uh that's a John Deere man, these six point eight liter engines. They ain't they ain't no count. We put this one in here at uh it's about ten thousand eight hundred or ten thousand nine hundred dollars. And I'm not quite to seventeen thousand yet. And look at that. <laughs> Lord have mercy. People tell me, buy John Deere. <laughs> Got a bunch of them. <laughs> Goodness gracious, a lie. The thing is, these machines cost three, four hundred thousand dollars. You know, I mean, well, three hundred won't even touch them no more. I mean, they start out at about, I think the skinners now are a little over three hundred, and and everything goes up from there. <laughs> we'll get this video wrapped up. Don't think for a second that John Deere don't watch all my videos. John Deere Tiger Cat, they watch them. They watch them all. And I know they cringe every time I say something about their engines because I was up at. Uh, I was doing some simulator work for them up at uh, Dubuque Works, Dubuque, Iowa. I guess it was, uh, it was 2013, I believe it was, when I went up there and did that for them, for the new G-Series swing machines that they've got out now. And uh, I was eating lunch with several of the engineers, and we're, we were talking about the engines, and something came up, and the guy looked at me, and he said, we know exactly how you feel about our engines. We 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 get we we know exactly how you feel about them. But uh, the six the six eight liter just I mean they're they're good engines. We just don't get the longevity out of them. I don't know what it is. Like I said, we we service them all the time. So uh, I don't know. But uh, it's funny to kind of pick on them and all that. Keep them on their toes. You know what I mean. Uh, so a lot of people kind of kind of understand that so i'm gonna uh, finish this video up right here a lot of fun watching Derek. remember the website the christmas stuff uh, i got a couple of shirts i've got marked down right now that are uh 
very affordable. Got the new beanies on the website, uh, stickers on there. I've actually ordered some um, some new newer stickers. Uh, well, they're the same sticker, they're just a larger size. I primarily got them for myself to use on uh, some of my stuff. It's a seven inch size sticker. And I ordered um, yesterday, which was Tuesday. Y'all be watching this on Thursday. Time travel on YouTube's tough. Allie Knight always says that. A lot of people are surprised about who I watch, and it's kind of funny when I say things. But uh, uh, I ordered uh, it's a hundred. I think it was a hundred and thirty hoodies yesterday. So it was a big order. Uh, hoodies and a bunch of t-shirts, also a bunch of koozies to get me on through the through the wintertime rush here so we'll get them in but uh if you like my stuff please subscribe to me i'd appreciate that uh like i said a lot of fun watching dirt watching that new machine run and all that stuff like that so i'm gonna let y'all go for now we'll catch y'all later later taters